Are you sure this is a good idea, Gregory? Yeah, this is gonna be fine. Um, I also wanted to ask you, uh, you look a lot different. It actually kind of resembles your sister. Oh, actually, um, it makes sense. Maybe it's because I've been thinking about her a lot. I look like the characters out of a comic book we used to read together. Really? I didn't know I could do that as a ghost, but I guess I can. Cool, I like that. It's kind of a special way to maybe have a bond between you two. Maybe. Uh, I'm really nervous, Gregory. What, what if she doesn't want to see me? She's gonna want to see you. I've talked to her myself. She really wants to see her family again. She hasn't seen you guys in ages. I guess that's a good point. I haven't seen any of my family in ages, too. I, I'm just nervous. It's gonna be really exciting, though, okay? We're gonna go inside. Oh. You ready? <laughs> As ready as I ever will be, I, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's go see your sister, Evan. All right. And you're sure she's here, Gregory? Uh, what if she's somewhere else? <laughs> no, she's not going to be somewhere else, Evan. I, I promise. Uh, Lizzie? Are, are you here? Lizzie? Um, it's me. Evan, I I really want to talk to you again. If you'll just come out and, and say hi. <laughs> it's your brother, Lizzie. Evan? Is that really you? <gasps> Evan, look. What? <gasps> there she is. Lizzie. This is hi. so exciting. Oh my gosh. Uh, hi, Evan. This is... Really... unexpected. I know. I, I'm i sorry it took me this long to... to come see you. I was really nervous. Have you met Gregory? I... I didn't know you two knew each other. Oh, um, yeah, we met actually a bit ago. Um, I convinced him that seeing you would be a really good idea and... If you guys could maybe rekindle your relationship a bit, it would be beneficial for both of you. I guess so. And you you agreed, Evan? Yeah. It took a little convincing on Gregory's part, but eventually he convinced me that it would be a good idea. So, what took so long? I mean, you could have come and seen me all this time. I mean, it's been years, Evan. Well... I was nervous and worried because our relationship wasn't always the greatest when we were alive. What do you mean? I I thought it was pretty okay. I mean, sure, we got into scuffs like siblings do, but I mean, that's to be expected. Not all the time. I mean, half the time you took Michael's side when he was making fun of me. And that's how I died. I... Michael pulled one of his classic pranks, and it got me killed. You just seemed like you didn't care. Evan, it's not that she didn't care. Look, you guys were both around the same age when you died. Things aren't going to be normal, and hopefully this isn't going to cause any issues. You know, she was silent when you died because she was a kid. Exactly. And... You know how Michael was, even when we were little. He was always pulling pranks on the both of us, and I wasn't against you, Evan. I was a victim, just like you were. I mean, trust and believe, I know how bad Michael could be. He was a, a big bully, and what he did to you wasn't fair. I guess I might have seemed like I didn't care on the outside, but it was only because any time I showed any emotion whatsoever. Michael would call me a crybaby, and so would Dad. I, I think that was their way of dealing with emotions, too. I guess I didn't think of that. I just saw Michael bullying me, and you not doing anything to help it, but it only makes sense that he would have bullied you, too, when we were kids. It sounds exactly. like your guys' older brother bullied both of you and gave you both a really hard childhood. Oh, he was... Kind of the worst. It sounds like it, but I don't want either of you guys to hold it against each other. It's not your guys' fault what happened. 
at least for where Evan here is concerned. I, yeah. I still don't really know what happened to me, but we're trying to figure it out. You don't happen to have any insight on that, do you, Evan? I don't know if you've been watching her or anything, but... Wait, so you don't know how you died? I just remember going down into the basement, Dad's basement, where he used to work on all the animatronics. But that's about all I can remember. Well... I wasn't watching at the time, so I don't really know, but maybe we could find out together? I mean, Gregory's been a really great help of bringing me out of my shell. I'm sure he'd be willing to help us even more, right, Gregory? Absolutely, I would. <laughs> Are you sure, though? You know how your mom is. She really doesn't want you helping or hanging around us ghosts. Look, I made a promise to both of you that we're gonna figure out how you died and how to make both of your guys' lives better. I want you guys to be able to fit in a little bit. I mean, my life is not normal. I have animatronic friends and family and we're all used to ghosts. So hopefully I can convince Roxanne that you guys will be completely fine to stay. I mean, look, we have Circus Baby is completely okay with you being here. I'm sure she's gonna love Evan. And so is Freddy. Have you told Freddy? The only person that knows about Evan right now is you and Monty, which is... Monty? A long story. Um, He's not going to tell anyone, I don't think. He wasn't the nicest animatronic we've ever met, but he wasn't that bad either. I don't know if I want to meet this Monty guy. Nope. Maybe later on down the line, but for now, I... I think you're fine. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> uh, this is really cool, Evan. I'm, I'm really glad you're here and that you finally came forward. I wish I would have had the courage before too, but it's something that I'm working on. I'm trying not to be as much of a crybaby as I once was. You're doing a really good job with it though, Evan. Yeah, and trust me, Michael was a big bully to the both of us and you didn't deserve to be treated how you were. Neither of you did. You've got a point. When I met Evan, he actually looked a lot different than this, but ever since we've been talking about you, he's kind of changed his appearance. Really? He looks like you. He said it has something to do with the style of a comic book you guys used to read. <laughs> it does. This is how I met you, which makes me feel like you've never really stopped thinking about him. No, ever since I died. I mean, I guess I have been thinking about you a lot, Evan. And look at us. We're basically characters from our favorite comic book. Now that we're both here, we can do all of our cool powers. I bet you can even go ghost mode like me. Can you do this? <laughs> Wait, Evan, can you do that? Try, I, I bet you can. Uh, let me see. <sighs> Whoa. Wait, do I look really cool right now? You look really, really cool. Look, Gregory, we're matching. <laughs> I want to say this is kind of creepy, but because I know both of you, and I, it's really not that bad. It's kind of cool. I've been telling Lizzie for a while that it's like she has superpowers. No, I guess we're, we're both like the characters in our comic book. Uh, I guess so. I think things are going to be a lot better from now on, Lizzie. I think so, too. You know what? I don't think Gregory's ever heard of this comic book before. <gasps> Why don't we go online on the interwebs? Has Gregory shown you the interwebs yet? Yeah, a little bit, but not much. Well, I bet we can Google the comic book and we can all read it together. What do you say? Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Cool. <laughs> Come on. I know where Circus Baby keeps her laptop. <laughs> <laughs>